Hey guys, in this video I'm going to uh, show you some tips and uh, information on before you build your pole barn. Um, some things to think about. Uh, number one, decide what seal you're going to go with. If you're going to go with drywall, OSB, uh, whatever, steel, um, because you're going to have to get the right trusses for your sealing. So uh, if you're going to go with drywall, you're going to have to do, um, you know, two foot on center uh, and engineered for the weight of it. If you're going to go with steel, you can do six foot trusses on center and they don't have to be as heavily rated. And then OSB, I think would be, you know, you're looking at probably about, you know, four foot guessing, you know, I'd probably, they might want to do two, but between six foot on center trusses for metal seal and liner and drywall, it was a, uh, $20,000 difference, which seemed outrageous because the trusses had to be engineered trusses. Um, they had to be, uh, um, you know, two foot on center, but still you're only adding another 13, 14 trusses. So that's tip number one, decide what seal them because if you don't do it right away and you want to put drywall or, or something else on, then you're gonna to have to block it and add more trusses later and it's just a big headache. So that's number one. Number two is uh, your overhang. So we'll go out here. Um, you're gonna be driving under the eaves, which means, uh, you know, the, the eaves, the soffit right over here. If you're gonna be driving under that, um, city code states that usually uh, you have to have the minimum of what your house overhang has. So you have to match it. But you can go bigger. So what I did was I went uh, with a four foot overhang because then you can put your sidewalk or whatever and you can put a table out here. You can stand, sit out here, stand out here when it's raining because the rain mark, the rain's going to come down to here off the edge. So uh, you don't get as wet. You don't have to rush in to get into your building. Um, it's it's all uh, you're protected underneath gives you a nice shade. I mean this is a north facing right now So um, it's sunny out here, but uh, we got enough shade with the north facing um, But if you're going to be not driving under your eaves, then uh, it doesn't really matter I mean, I would go with a two foot because if you're going to insulate your building You want enough airflow up there so that you don't get ice stands and stuff so I mean, two foot overhang would be ideal because then you can have your ventilated soffits and get enough airflow up in there. Uh, another thing is uh, make sure before you write the final check, check their work. Um, you want to make sure everything's good, looks good, not it's up to your par because I mean you paid for the building. But make sure because uh, the following pictures you're going to see that this is what I found. Things small uh, like uh, um, the door handles. Instead of having knobs, use these levers so that you can use an elbow to open them up when your hands are full. Stuff like that, you know, where it's it's uh, you don't have a knob, you can just uh, hit it with something and open it up. And then also the same with uh, your your sockets or your switches. Uh, use the rocker switches. I mean because then you can use your elbow to easily hit it if your hands are full. Uh, little things like that. Um, plan on your future use. Like I said before, um, you want to make sure to have enough electrical so that you don't have to run 
electrical cords all over the place. You know, then you can't roll it over with stuff easily, uh, floor jacks and everything. Um, maybe if you want a sink, you know, faucet outside. These are my frost proof sock faucets going outside. Um, that's another thing to think about is uh, plan all that so that um, it doesn't cost that much to do it now, but then you have enough that if you ever need in the future, you, you don't have to do it. It's already there. Number five would be uh, make sure that you go a height. Actually, make sure you can go the maximum height allowed. It, it doesn't cost that much more to go up higher. Um, so like these are 12 foot. I mean, I had to push for that. I had to get a variance for that. They won't let me. They had a big problem. Variance committee shot me down. And then the final uh, uh, committee uh, approved it. So uh, council, city council finally approved it. But the variance, make sure you can get your maximum height into your height because you can do much more. You know, everyone, I never had anyone complain that they have too much space. It's always not enough space. So like the higher up, uh, you can use for shelving, put a nice shelving system, rack system, and then you can put storage or whatever you want up there so that, you know, you have extra height. And, you know, then I won't run into a problem where my car hoist, they mismeasure. So I'd easily make it. If it was 13 feet, 14 feet, it wouldn't be a problem. But now I have to modify those. So, yeah, that's the main thing. Go as much height and as big as your budget can afford. And because you're going, you're going to love the extra space. I mean, this is 3,200 square feet and it, filling it up, it's going to be, it's going to be smaller than what I thought it would be. Cause I thought 3,200 square feet would be huge, but it's, you know, I, I'd want more. So I always go as big as you can on your budget because, um, but the main thing is the height. The height doesn't cost that much more to go with a higher ceiling height and higher post height because it's just a post. So, um, I mean, there's some, the steel outside, they have to cut a little bit more, but it's not that much more money to go with height. Just make sure your city code, your city will let you do it. So guys, hopefully this helps. The main thing too is make sure to get multiple bids because when a company they had a good reputation many years ago. They may not have the same reputation as they do today. So get different bids and go with um, the bid that basically in the middle, the cheapest bid, you gotta ask yourself, why are they doing this?